so day four of our site specific project for Stretched Baths. Um, today we caught Lance back up with what we added on in the last lesson, so this just consisted of the lift, um, because after that we just spoke about development. After we caught Lance up, we recorded what we had, um, we like to record what we have, what we've ended with and each session just so we can go back, evaluate what we'd done, if we was happy with what we completed in the lesson. Um, after he was caught up, he agreed that he liked what we had and he was happy to move forward with it. Um, and then we had a massive sit down conversation um, which there is a video uploaded onto my I Know It. Um, so I won't go too much into it because it's all in depth there. Um, but we just had a giant conversation which we recorded talking about how we could develop it. So we spoke about um, adding that comedy factor. So we've added, so we added a little bit onto the very front of our performance. So we originally started off with a small sequence small movement sequence that I thought of and then as a collective group we came up with the idea of at the beginning it would be quite nice um, to kind of come on stage in our swimming back in our like bathing suits and towel wrapped around us and walk on stage and dive into the pool like synchronized swimmers um, we thought it would be quite funny, it, we got the inspiration from um, a, sm a YouTube video of some children um, at a school performing it in one of their school performances. Um, I can try and find the link and maybe put that in there. Um, so we added that in there, um, but then we got into the conversation of really like how far can we go with the comedy without it ending up borderline childish and a bit more of a fun fest rather than our work and um, so we just need to f make sure that we can keep that balance um but i'm pretty sure that we'll be able to do that uh we like to evaluate our work a lot so in this massive conversation, we then spoke about potential costumes. We spoke about the use of interviews and any like sound effects in the backgrounds or projections. So we really liked the idea of having the interview being played over the performance and just trying to act out the interview. And we thought it might be a nice touch because it's Sound, it's an older person speaking about it from their past views. However, us being young people show that show the kind of like not time moves on, but you know, we're like the memories of the small children for the people, but we thought it would be a nice touch to have have it as an older voice. Um we spoke about hmm. oh my god what did we speak about we spoke about using projections of um a waterfall or rainwater um because the i'm gonna say this wrong the Mikva? Mikva? It's not even that. Uh, I have it in here somewhere and I'm going to find it. The Jewish Mikva? I'm probably saying that completely wrong. But, um, the Mikva is, um, a sunken bath which is filled with natural heated water so that would be rainwater. 
So we think it would be quite a nice effect and the sound of it could be can actually be quite relaxing depending on how heavy the thunderstorm is. So again, it's just playing with the dynamics and the sounds of the water and what kind of feeling and atmosphere it could give to the performance. So it was a very good conversation. Um, I think we have a clear pathway and where we want to go um, and what else we need to develop into it.